Welcome to the another part of book shopping cart series. We are creating this project in .NET 7 MVC and this project contains the sum of the modules of e-commerce projects like displaying products, managing shopping cart and displaying user panel with his orders. And it is not the first video of this series. If you haven't seen other videos, you can check out this playlist. If you don't know me, my name is Ravindra and I'm your instructor for this course. So let's move ahead in this lesson. So let's get started. First, let's close this guy. We do not need it right now. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So let's just, we are gonna create a view for this method, get user card. Okay, so right click on it, add view. That's it, add razor view, very good. And it will take a while. Okay, so use a layout page, that is fine, get user empty, empty. So everything is fine, let's, let's create a view. Okay, and we need to do one more thing here. So I guess I'm blocked here until it's get done. So we are done here. So we need to do one linking here. Okay, let me see where inside this thing and where is our cart it should be somewhere here 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 is our cart so let's enter here i uh, sorry not identity it's a cart slash get user cart That's it. So let's move here to this method. Let's close this thing. Let's close this thing also. Let's close this thing also. So let's use here model and name of model is shopping cart. Okay, and let's type here div style equals to width. Let's name it 80%. Let's just name it 90% margin auto. Let's define here H3, my cart, and let's just type here table class equals to table, table bordered. Okay. Let's type here TR, TH, and let's just say book Zandra and unit price it would be INR and quantity total price I guess we have this much column and let's just define okay that's it you can also define here picture of the book but I'm not going to define it and we can do it also so let's just name it image 
okay so for each where item in model dot card details it will be tr but we need to do one more thing here so let's just check here condition if model doesn't equals to null and model dot card details doesn't equal to null and model dot card details dot count is greater than zero then this section will execute otherwise else we will see this thing here no items now just see card is empty so let's type here td has the red item dot td sorry item dot book dot book name and let's just type here if item dot book dot image string dot is null or empty else so if we do not have an image then we will just simply write here image src equals to images slash let's see we have this images slash no image dot png we can just drop it here okay no 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 it is not so let me check the spelling no image capital n o m i g dot p n g and width sorry style equals to width which should be 80 pixel and height let's just say width is 80 pixel width height okay 80 pixel and height h e i g h t height 100 pixel so it should be our image default image if our image is empty otherwise we will write here at the rate let's just copy it and paste it here okay so how is how we are going to display image now we have to display genre unit price quantity and total price and we will have one more column here which will be action okay so next is genre so let's type here td add the red item dot book dot genre dot genre name okay next would be item dot book dot unit price or price next should be okay and let's not define it here okay unit price and let's just see we can define it here into and item dot qty quantity sorry q u a n t quantity okay. 
next thing should be td equals to item and we just have to copy this thing paste it here and put asterisk sign here and remove this at the red sign now it is gonna calculate as a total price okay one more thing we will have here so it will be button type equals to btn b sorry type equals to button or it may be anchor tag and I just say class equals to button not button btn btn dark or btn info it will be a plus icon here okay btn info and it should have this href here one more thing this okay btn it will be info will be okay so let's write here cart slash add item at the red book id equals to item dot book id and redirect equals to one here we will write card slash remove item book id equals to item dot book id capital b book id okay and we will do here one more thing so let's just type here book class equals to m y2 let's just type here h5 total in INR and it will be let's see how we can find it so let's just see model dot card details dot card details dot Right, let me think let's just see dot select a dot or just select item item dot price item dot book dot price into item dot quantity dot should have some uh, let's see let me see dot sum it should do a trick okay let we will let's see okay now I guess we are fine let it put here so that you can see it clearly okay so what we are doing here we are first we are checking the condition if model is empty model should not empty model dot card details should not empty and model dot card details dot count should be greater than zero if this condition does not follow then it will simply write card is empty otherwise 
it will go inside this block and here we are creating a table we have these much filled and we are just displaying here book name book image genre name price and quantity now it is showing this calculation price into quantity we have two buttons for plus and minus it will increase and decrease the quantity okay so let's just see after that we have this total section here and we are calculating the total of our card and one more thing let's copy this thing here and paste it here div and let's create a button here between button and let's just see it's anchor class equals to btn btn primary and href and we are not gonna link it right now we will do it later and let's let's name it to check out okay so let's give it a name check out so let's run this method okay okay so we need to log in first so let's just type here this one and let's hit enter okay now click here and we are here but we are not displaying any image so let me see why it is not displaying any image right now so it's no image dot p and g so if string dot okay so let's remove this negation sign from here okay and let's do one more thing here table rather than striped rather than border we will use striped or stripped whatever it is so now it is looking like this is my cart and my cart is it should be h5 its size is too much big so let's wait okay so we have five items in our cart let's see one two three four five okay so two okay so six five six eight four so let me calculate it twenty nine hundred okay that's fine so let's try to remove this item and its quantity has changed to one it's 2600 right now so let's remove this item so it has removed it from here it's 23 let's click here it has removed this one let's remove it also now it's 1100 let's remove this one now it's 500 let's increase its quantity that's good yeah it is working good let's remove let's remove let's remove let's remove and now our card is empty so let's go to the home now let's add this item this item this item this item this item four or five times and let's go here so we have sound of this item this 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 okay let's go here one more time let's add this book because it has an image let's move to the card section again yeah it is working fine and i know the design is not that much great right now and one more thing here let's put a class here m y sorry let's just see margin from top empty two and let's see it should be moved to the bottom so yeah now it is looking okay okay not that great 
but okay now now our card functionality has been completed now what we will do in the next section we will work on this checkout button when this when user checkout then its cart will be empty and its order will be placed and user will be able to look its order here inside this profile section we will create a link for it here somewhere here so there user can see its orders so that will be happen in the next section so let's wait for the next lesson we will catch up in the next section